Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called More Variables. In this lecture, we're going to continue from where we left off in the previous lecture, which was PHP variables, and we're just going to cover a few more examples of some PHP variables. As usual, feel free to follow along using the course files that you downloaded in your Code Dynamic Websites folder. We're in 03 More Variables. What I suggest doing is navigating to localhost port 888. Eight, I think that was right, 8888, eight, eight, eight. 03 more variables, or you could just click on 03 more variables right here, or if you are on lecture two, you could just click the button here at the bottom next lecture. I'm giving you a lot of different ways to follow along, so if you just want to keep it simple, keep the localhost website for the PHP course open, and just keep following along by pressing next or previous lecture. All right, so let's jump in. All right, so here's some more examples of some basic variables. So right here I have my name, or my underscore name equals Brad, and Brad is a string because it's just text, and it's between two double quotation marks. I've ended it with a semicolon so that I can add another variable below here, which is my underscore age equals, and this one is an, um, an integer, so it's just a whole number, 25. And I have another variable here, which is a string, fave underscore color equals blue. So now if I wanted to display those variables on the page in some sort of meaningful way, I could use the PHP print function. So it looks a little bit like this. Use the opening and closing PHP declaration, and I have the print function, and inside of, uh, after print, I have uh, uh, a opening bracket and a, or opening parentheses and a closing parentheses. Within that, I have a string, and then I'm just writing some text, but watch this. So my name is, and then I'm displaying, or I'm typing the variable, my name. And then I use an HTML break tag to break it onto a new line. I'm my age, years old, and like the color, fave color. So now PHP will render that and spit out the following. So my name is Brad. I'm 25 years old, and I like the color blue. So, pretty cool, hey? All right, so that's it for variables right now. We will be using variables a lot throughout the entire course, so don't worry if you feel like this wasn't enough, because there's a lot more to come. So I'll see you in the next lecture, where we talk about constants. All right, see you there.